Hello, I am Ines Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create this. Alright, looks pretty awesome and we're going to create this in After Effects using a little bit of Cinema 4D for the text creation. So we have a 3D text. Um, there are other ways to do this, um, but I prefer working with Cinema 4D because I'm familiar with the software. So let's get started. First thing we do in After Effects is go to Composition New and we're going to create a new composition of Full HD. So that's 1920 by 1080p and go for square pixels, uh, 24 frame rates per second and let's create 10 seconds along timeline. Create this as a Harry Potter style intro, so just rename everything so it's organized and click OK. So now we have our uh, composition ready. First thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to make a background solid, not that it's necessary, but just to be sure. Um, background click OK and then it's up to you to go on Google and find some cloud images or find some cloud images wherever you can find them so search for storm clouds dark clouds and um, things like that and what we're looking for are images uh, more like uh, well like this one looks alright uh, this one also is pretty awesome so um, where we have a lot of detail is pretty awesome like this one is a great um, image and you can see this is a clear image but we changed it up to this so this is actually the same image we have used in this composition and we can see the colors are very very different so we have our image we're going to use this one as a background image and the first thing we want to do is uh, well we have our image in here but we didn't make it 3D yet so we are going to create a new Cinema 4D, Maxon Cinema 4D file and this is an option you will only have if you are using uh, Adobe CC. So if you don't have Adobe CC, uh, I would suggest you would go and watch other tutorial tutorials on how to work um, Cinema 4D and After Effects together in previous versions or if you don't have uh, Cinema 4D then you can follow along this tutorial we will be showing you how to create the clouds in 3D space so this is something we can do completely inside of After Effects just the text is 3D so we are obligated to uh, use a 3D software or 3D plugin so if you don't have uh, Cinema 4D then I would suggest you to watch some other tutorials on how to incorporate 3D in After Effects and this might take a little bit of time if you're a beginner so I would suggest you starting with simpler tutorials if you can follow along. So uh, we have our image continuing the tutorial, go to new and create a Maxon Cinema 4D file. I'm going to just click OK, it doesn't matter where it's saved and it's going to load up Cinema 4D. So for you that will be Cinema 4D Lite if you don't have a license on Cinema 4D. Um, so uh, we will get started here. The first thing we want to do is right now it's 90 uh, frames long and we want to change it to like something let's say uh, like 300 so it's uh, like 10 seconds long um, okay so change it to 300 frames in length and then we're going to the settings by clicking on this button here and we're also going to change the width and the height to full HD so changing it like this and alright so let's close this down next thing you want to do is create a new camera and click on this um, black square here so we jump into the view of the camera so if it's white it means you're looking through the camera and then we are going to the coordinations by clicking on the tab if you select your camera go to coordinations and just zero everything out so except for these uh, these can keep, uh, you can keep these at uh, just one and then we zoom out a little bit in z-space so it's going to pull the camera a little bit away so this is something we just prepare our uh, scene to add some text um, the next thing we want to do is add our, our text of course so we are going to MoGraph and we're going to add a Mo text so uh, going to object we're going to change this to code well uh, oh click on uh, the font we can't search by clicking a button on the keyboard unfortunately that's how cinema 4d works so you'll have to scroll and find your uh, font this way so uh, let's say I'm going to be using this font here and I'm going to add a little bit of horizontal spacing and change the text to let's say tolerate it alright and I'm going to center the text by going to the align middle so there we have our text already prepared 
and we're going to add a little bit of depth like let's say 60 something I haven't done in the preview of this tutorial but I think a little bit more depth might be useful and then we're going to the uh, to the cap step and we're going to change the cap start and end to a fillet cap then we're going to change the radius to 2 on both of these and we're going to uh, enable the constraint here so what that does is that it's just going to keep the size of the text but just enable the bevel and now if we are clicking out of the camera so we can zoom in on the text and see how things are looking we can see we have a bevel here so and that's looking pretty cool the only thing I don't really like about this bevel it's only one bevel and still the edges of the bevel are very very sharp and very unrealistic so what I always do when I'm creating text with a bevel is I'm going over here going to the connect tool drag and drop my uh, text in the connect tool and that will mess up my text at first but if I click on the connect tool here and go to alt G it's going to group these and if I open this up and add a new by going over here holding bevel deformer and I drag it into that null object just above the the connect tool here we're going to see that it's going to bevel again and now we are going to click on use angle check this on so it's going to fix this problem here and I'm also going to change the offset to like 0 0.3 and now if we're going to zoom in we have a bevel with another bevel and it's going to look a little bit more realistic you can also change the subdivisions here so it's a little bit more rounded over there uh, alright so now we have a great looking bevel and that's something very very important when you're trying to re uh, recreate realistic looking type because everything in the real world is yeah it isn't as sharp as you think it is nothing is sharp um, so this is going to add some more realism to the reflections and the light you will see in a second once we start lighting the scene you will see this will have a highlight to it and it's going to look a lot better anyway so the next thing we want to do is go over here to the floor uh, and hold your mouse and go to sky and we'll add a sky so now it's another task for you to go on Google and search for for an HDRI sky so that's HDRI sky and that's going to be a 360 picture of a sky so that's something you'll have to find for yourself I'm going to be using something that I already have so I'm going to load in my image here and try to find an image that kind of resembles uh, the sky like a darker scene um, more outdoors maybe um, so I'm not going to uh, save it here so I have an outdoor scene here I'm going to click on edit the image you can see what I'll be using and it's actually completely different than I want it to be at the end uh, unfortunately because I don't have any skies that resemble the uh, final result we'll have but this is, will just add some reflection to our text so try to find an AGRI image doesn't really matter how it looks so I'm going to drag and drop this on the sky, on the sky. I'm going to right click the sky go to cinema 4d text going to compositing and check off scene by camera and that will, will resolve the uh, issue that you see it by the camera but it will be seen by reflection so now if we render th things out if we jump back in, in the view of the camera by clicking here if we render this out this is our text doesn't look too good at, uh, at this moment so we don't see a lot of change let's add some lights we're going to add some lights here by clicking on here lights are very very important in scenes of cinema 4d and actually in real life as well if you're taking a picture light is very important so try to drag it somewhere around here and add some soft shadows uh, add another light drag it out like so uh, bring it up and like so and all the way back also add some soft uh, shadows and now we have something like this even though we didn't add a texture you can see instantly that with light it looks better and you can see because of our bevel we have some highlights here which makes it look pretty cool so now we are going to create our texture and it's actually a fun thing to do if we're going to double click over here and double click on the texture we are enabled here um, and now we want to change the color so I'm going to check everything on just so you can follow along so I'm, I'll check on color and now we are going to use a texture for color so the first thing we do is click on the arrow go to layer go to click on the layer and shader noise now we're going to click on the thumbnail of the noise and then we're going over here with the arrow uh, just uh, at the end of noise here and now we can see whatever will work so we'll just find a few and just 
check it out and see what works. This looks a pretty cool one. So I'm going to enhance the global scale by 250 or so. And I'll change the uh, colors to uh, more bluish kind of gray colors uh, like so. So now that's completely up to you. So what will you, you'll be using? Um, I'll use something like this. So I like this kind of style, maybe a little bit more to the darker side. And this one over here. Okay, so I like this one here. Then I'm going to click on this arrow to head back, go to shader and add a new noise layer. So we are going to create a few to create some vari variation in our, in our style. And we're going to use this one. Now we are going to pick uh, a few other blue kind of colors. And there we go. Um, well, let's change this to something like this here. And then head back and change the uh, the mode here to something. And that's, yeah, just go and check them out. Lower the opacity, play around with it. So see the differences. Um, maybe click on it again and change the colors to something less saturated. And, and like this, you can create some, some nice variations. So I'll change it to multiply and change it like this and see how this works. All right, so this is looking all right. I'm going to make it a lot lighter. And now we are going to see uh, more more variation, I guess. Okay, so create another noise layer and also lower this down, change to multiply. And like so, you can see we have a nice checked uh, texture here for color. So, okay, we have a few layers of colors. And if it's your first time in Cinema 4D, I would recommend you to pause the video, go back, and hopefully you won't complain that I'm going too fast. Um, but I'm doing this fast for the people that already know it. So if you don't know it, just try to do it slow, uh, slow and steady. Just pause the video and just follow along everything my mouse is doing. So basically, you can't really mess up. So and go to the reflectance, check this on and delete the default specular. Then we're going to click on the add here and add a Beckman. And we're going to add some roughness of 30%, some reflection of 50% and go to uh, the specular. Open this up with the arrow here and go to noise. Uh, also add a noise by clicking on the arrow and click on the noise. We're going to click on noise here and again on the arrow to pick a noise type. And this one is actually someone, uh, something that I, I like pretty much. I'm going to change um, the color of black to something a little bit lighter, well, dark grayish kind of color because everything that's white is going to allow specular. Everything that's black isn't going to allow specular. But we want to allow specular at all times, just sometimes a little bit more bright than other times. So that's why we changed the black to a darker gray. So it's still going to allow some uh, specular. So click on this arrow to head back and drag down. And now one last thing we should do is open the bump map here. Go to mode. It's uh, right, set, uh, right now it's set at default and we're going to create a custom bump map. We're going to uh, go to custom texture and click on the arrow again, add a noise. And I know for people that are starting out, this might get confusing, uh, but click on the noise, enter the noise. And we have done this now three times, so you should get a hang of it. Click on the arrow again and start, uh, search for a nice noise type. So we have a nice noise here, but maybe it isn't good enough. Uh, well, we'll just use this one for now, head back. And one thing we'll do is check how the texture looks at this moment. Um, before we render this out, we should do one more thing. So if you go to reflectance again, and we are at, uh, at the window, the start uh, window of reflectance, uh, we're going to scroll down all the way down until you see here layer for now. If you click on this, it's going to open up something. We're going to click on the Fresnel here and change it to a conductor. That's all you have to do and close it down. Now drag and drop your texture on your text here, well, maybe on the null here. So it's covering everything. So uh, drag and drop it on the null, on the group. And we're going to click on the texture and change the projection to cubic. And let's see how this looks actually. So let's render this out. So right now the bump map is way too high. So we'll, we'll be changing that by double clicking on the texture again, change the bump strength to 20 and see how this looks. All right, so it's looking pretty nice. One thing we, we want to do is now, right now we see bump all the time. So we want to change that just a bit by going to uh, bump again, 
and right here we have a texture that is empty this field is empty and what that will do if you add a noise everything that's white is going to allow bump everything that's black isn't going to allow bump so if you click on the noise change the global scale to 250 and we render this out you'll see uh, that's at some points there is no bump going to allow through this uh, so and that's pretty cool so go back and let's change it to a different noise here for bump so if we are here uh, at reflectance we're going to the mode of bump itself so custom texture click on noise and change it to something different Okay, so I'm going to use the same one here, but I'm going to lower the whites down and the blacks up here. And I'm going to head back and I'm going to change this into a layer. I'm going to click on the layer and go to shader and add a new noise. And I'm going to change this to multiply, change the opacity as well. Then again, I'm going to create a new noise and I'm going to click and create the same exact option that we took first time, but I'm going to change the global scale to 500, head back and also lower the opacity. And now we can see again, we create some variation and it's going to look a lot cooler. So let's render this out. And now we have a better looking texture already. So I can see my lights are a little bit more uh, too intense. I'm going to change the colors of the lights here. So we have two lights. We click on one light let's change one of the colors to a bluish color like so and the other one as well to a different kind of blue also change the intensity uh, to 50 here now we can do the same for this one 75 maybe Okay, so we have our text here and let's keep it at this for now. So we have our 3D text and if we're going to save this just by hitting Ctrl S, we head back to After Effects, we'll see that our text is now in After Effects. We can change this a render type to uh, final or draft. Let's change it to a draft and also change our resolution of our composition to quarter. So we have a bad resolution, but everything is going to load a lot faster. So now we can see that our Cinema 4D type is, uh, well, Cinema 4D scene is very short, so we'll drag this out like so. Okay, so that was a whole lot of work, and I know, and I'm sorry, but yeah, <laughs> it's nothing that I can do about this. But if we check this off for a second, or, well, let's check it off, and let's concentrate for now on the scene of our cloud here. So 